Hey everyone, in this lesson we would like to discuss how to use the capacitor banks in uh, improving or in power factor correction. So in the previous lesson we discussed the definition of power factor. Now today we would like to see how can we use the capacitor banks in order to improve our power factor. So you can see here that this is a simple example. We have a motor okay absorbing uh, s or uh, apparent power from the grid the motor have a uh, values of 10 horsepower 480 volt and the power factor of the motor is 84 percent so you can see that this uh, motor here it has 18 ampere absorbing 18 ampere from our grid now um, we in order to reduce the amount of power absorbed from the grid or amount of current absorbed from the grid we will use here capacitor bank the capacitor bank will supply reactive power you will see that here in this example we added a 3 kilovar capacitor this capacitor will supply a current of 3.6 ampere okay so you can see that the amount of the current absorbed from the grid reduced from 18 to 16 so what is the benefit of this we reduced the amount of power absorbed from the grid apparent power and we also reduced the amount of current so it means that we have a lower voltage drop and we have now a better power factor we see that by adding a capacitor of 3 kilovar the power factor improved to 95% and the line current reduced 11%. Remember that in the end, the summation of the or the total current entering the motor is the same current. Okay, so here we have 18 ampere, and the current entering the motor is a summation of 3.6 and 16 ampere. Now, someone will ask me, the total current is 18 ampere in this case, but here we have a 16 and 3.6 so their summation is 19.6 so why this value is different from the 18 okay let me tell you something here that the total current is the same here here 18 ampere and summation of these two currents is also 18 ampere how okay let's discuss this you will see that the 16 ampere is the current absorbed from the grid okay this current absorbed from the grid is consisting of i plus j i okay consisting of two components it is a vector okay not a scalar value so the first i is the i of the active power and second i is the i of the reactive power so we have two currents one which is considered as the one which supplies active power and the other one supplies the reactive power now for the capacitor it provides a current of a negative j okay i okay or, or we can say j okay i q okay so we can say this one is i q1 and this one is i q2 so in order to get the total current we have to add the two vectors and then get the magnitude in the end they will have the same value of 18 ampere okay so this is a summation of two vectors not a summation of two scalar values okay so let's delete all of this and use a laser pointer now you can see that when the apparent power kilovolt ampere is greater than working power kilowatt okay so what does this mean this means that our apparent power is having an active power and reactive power so the utility must supply the excess reactive current okay we said that we have ia which is the current representing the active power and iq representing the reactive power so the excess reactive current should pass through the transmission line in addition to the working current or the active current now the capacitors here act as a reactive current generator or a source of a reactive current okay it provides reactive current so the reactive current required from the grid is reduced in this case 
so you can see that it reduced from 18 the active current plus the J uh, reactive power is reduced to 16 ampere which is considered I active plus J I reactive so by providing the reactive power using the capacitor bank they reduce the total amount of current your system must draw from the utility theoretically capacitors could provide 100% of the needed reactive power okay so we can use the capacitor to make the power factor unity or 100% however in practical usage power factor correction is approximately 95% provides the maximum benefit for our system okay so we don't need to increase beyond this value here is an example of a triangle representing before adding the capacitor and after adding the capacitor so you can see that here this outside outer uh, triangle this outer triangle provides us here the active power and here this one is the reactive power and from this point to here is our apparent power so before power factor improvement we had a 142 kilovolt ampere required from the grid okay but we added a kilovar or a capacitor of a 67 kilovar okay so before power factor correction the total kilovar was 100 kilovar okay before power factor correction now by adding the uh, 67 kilovar this triangle is reduced from this point to this point why because the capacitor now provides a part of the reactive power so now we only need a 33 kilovar from our grid so you can see now this triangle is now smaller so smaller triangle means that the s or the apparent power required from the grid itself is 105 lower than 142 and in addition to that the angle theta okay or theta for the uh, cosine theta which representing the power factor before power factor correction theta 1 was high value but after power correction theta 2 is now lower so theta 2 lower means cosine theta 2 is higher than cosine theta 1 so in the previous case we had a 100 which is active power this active power over s which is 142 giving us a 70 percent power factor okay now after adding capacitor bank of 67 kilovar we reduced it from the active power it is the same but the re, uh, the apparent power from the grid now 105 so here 105 so power factor improved to 95 percent okay so by adding capacitor we reduce the amount of apparent power required from the grid which means lower current absorbed from the grid which means lower voltage drop and lower losses so what is the benefit of the uh, capacitor banks here it can provide many benefits such as reduced electric utility pills why because for factories which have motors uh, their factory is um, the factory pill itself is dependent on the active power and the reactive power okay both of them so if you are absorbing higher active power from the grid you are going to pay higher electricity bills but now since we are adding a capacitor we have a reduced amount of reactive power required from grid which means lower electricity bills second thing is that we have an increased system capacity now since we are absorbing lower kilovolt ampere from our synchronous generator of the grid then our generators can supply more reactive power we have improved the voltage because the current absorbed from the grid is lower so we have a lower voltage drop so we mean it means that we have a better voltage regulation and of course we have reduced losses because our current is reduced so i square multiplied by r is also reduced now how can i select the capacitor banks 
or how can I, for example, if I need to improve from 0.7 to 0.9, how many kilovol kilovar required to improve the system? So let's go to a catalog for a company and all of the companies are similar to each other. So you can see how can you select uh, the capacitor bank practically. Now here is an example of a catalog from a company. Okay, so you can see here what are we going to do? You will see here we have a two uh, columns or one column and one row, whatever it is. You will see that here, this is the original power factor, the power factor of the system right now. Okay, 0.5 until large value can go down until 0.99. Okay, so this is the original power factor of our system. And this is the desired power factor. What the power factor you would like to achieve in your system? Is it 0.8 until unity power factor or 1? Okay, so... Uh, how can I select the power factor? Okay, very simple. First, you see the original power factor. In our example, we had a power factor of 0.7. Okay, this is our current power factor. Now, I would like to improve this 0.7 power factor to 0.95. So, you have to go take a line from 0.7 and move forward. Okay, like this until you reach the column of the 0.95 this is the column of the 0.95 okay so going to from 0.95 down and going from 0.7 right they intersect this 0.95 intersect at this point which is 0.691 so this is a multiplier what are you going to do you are going to take this one and to multiply it by the active power of your own system in this case this will give you the required kilovar okay let's get back again with another example here you find the original power factor then you find the desired power factor and intersect them together to get the multiplier number inside the table and multiply it by the average kilowatt okay as an example we have a utility bill shows an average power factor this is the power factor of our system 0.72 and the kilowatt of the system the kilowatt or active power absorbed by the system is 627 kilowatt how much kilovar required to improve the power factor to 0.95 so we have 0.72 and we need to improve to 0.95 so let's go to the table 0.72 and we would like to improve it to 0.95 so uh, 0.72 move forward until 0.95 this one okay 0.72 which is so this is our factor this one is our factor which is 0.635 so let's get back you will see that the factor is 0.635 what are we going to do we take this factor and multiply it by the average kilowatt which is 627 so 627 multiplied by 0.635 give us 198 kilovar required for the capacitor so we need a capacitor of this value to improve the power factor from 0.72 to 95 percent so since we don't have this exact value we can get approximately the closest one which is 400 kilovar in our catalog Okay, so we need to install 400 kilovar capacitor bank in order to improve from 0.72 to um, 95 or 0.95. This is the uh, simple method number one. Another method is that you can find inside the catalog according to the motor installed. Okay, you can see here design beam motors have its own uh, table and another here design pre uh, t frames motors have its own uh, table in another catalog you can find more tables anyway for example if i have a induction motor of a horsepower three and what is the speed of the motor the speed of the motor is it 300 300 uh, or 66 uh, 3600 uh, rpm or 3600 rpm or 1100 rpm 
or 1200 RPM or uh, 900 RPM. Okay, you select the speed. So, for example, if I have 1100 RPM and a 10 horsepower, what are I'm going to do? Go like this. 1,100 RPM, go down at the 10, so we need a capacitor kilovar of 3, 3 kilovar, and a current reduction of 11%, the current reduced by 11%. Now, by adding this capacitor bank, okay, the 10, uh, in the 10 horsepower, for the 10 horsepower induction motor, if we add the 3 kilovar, we will reduce the current by 11%. And you will see that here, this table is designed to improve power factor to 95% only. Okay, so these tables are for the 95%. If you need other values such as 92, 93, then you will need more tables. That's why the previous method, this method is more general. Okay, so this is how you can select the capacitor banks for your own system. Now, someone will ask me, what is that? cables used the fuse the circuit breaker or switch all of these things how can i find the values suitable for the capacitor bank likely the, we have inside our catalog the same catalog here we have the uh, voltage operating volts 240 volt 480 or 600 volts this is the operating voltage of our system okay which of course is a capacitor bank connected to it so, for example, if I have a kilovar of a 5, for example, 5 kilovar, so the current equivalent of the capacitor is 12 ampere, and we need a wire of a 12. Uh, this unit is the American unit, okay? The 12 is the American unit, the American wire gauge, okay? And you can see that the fuse equivalent required is a 20 ampere. 20 ampere in case of the 5 kilovar. And you'll see the circuit breaker equivalent to the 5 kilovar is 30 ampere. Okay. So you can find here in the catalog the uh, circuit breaker, fuse, wire, current just by getting the value of kilovar required. And also you can, of course, get the kilovar by knowing the horsepower of the machine or by using this general method so i hope this video was helpful for you and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button thank you